Okay, so let's try this one now. Uh, it's again uh, the relative size of particle question, but um, this time we're talking about the ion relative to its parent atom. So um, in this case, we've got a uh, cation being formed from its parent atom, and here we've got an anion being formed from its parent atom. So remember what we just discussed. Um, uh, when you've got a nuclear charge that's um, greater than your electronic charge, of course the um, nucleus is going to have a higher, a stronger effect on the electron cloud than it would if the charges were uh, equal. So in other words, right, we've lost some electrons, so the nucleus has a much stronger pull on the remaining electrons. So in that case, um, what you'll find is that the particle size of the uh, cation is significantly smaller, especially when you go to the two plus, go to three plus, it really gets smaller. Um, uh, significantly smaller than its parent atom. So um, which one of these is, I can't remember the question, larger or smaller? Um, let's just do smaller, okay? So which one of these is smaller? Uh, it would be the beryllium 2 plus cation. And again, the opposite argument is uh, true for anions, right? So, uh, so let's just put this so I'll remember. Um, so when you add an electron, uh, there's more electronic charge, so it's more diffuse because the, nuclear, the nucleus doesn't have as much an effect on uh, the electron uh, cloud, so it doesn't have as much pull, so it actually gets more diffuse, so the parent atom is going to be smaller than um, its anion. And again, um, this is a general trend uh, that you'll see.